There's a term I love in life, synchronicity. I define that as chance with a purpose. And one fateful night, my life would change forever. Um, I was flying from Chicago here to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was United Flight 664. Finally get on this airplane, I walk through first class and um, let's see this kid, he catches me off guard because he's a corporal sitting in dress army greens. And I go sit um, and coach and about an hour and a half or so later, we land in Grand Rapids, Michigan. As we pull up to the gate, the captain comes over the PA and um, says that we have an American hero on board. And my mind immediately jumps to this kid in first class, right? And I was like, what did he do? I'd just gotten back from uh, my second tour of duty in Iraq, flying the F-16, and um, he continues the captain by uh, informing us that we are carrying the remains of Corporal Brock Buckland on this flight. And his identical twin brother, Corporal Brad Buckland, was in first class and has brought him those 7,000 miles home. Captain makes another request that everybody stay in their seats until his remains are removed from the right cargo hold. And um, that night I watched um, the other side of war. Uh, as I looked out on the tarmac, uh, the Bucklands on the darkest night of their lives. Uh, the thing that really got me though was his, uh, his four-year-old son. Sat right below the cargo ramp as that American flag draped coffin inched down. And the finality of the sacrifice hit me. Um, the realities that this young boy would never play catch with his dad again. He would never be tucked in at night. And that term freedom isn't free didn't mean anything until I witnessed that. And as the ceremony finishes itself up, you know, I wipe away my tears, right, and I grab my backpack and I look back to the airplane only to see that more than half the plane had gotten off. No place to go except that blanket of freedom we'll all sleep under each and every night courtesy of one percent of this country that suits up every day willing to defend and pay the ultimate sacrifice for the other 99 percent and that was my moment of synchronicity i knew with every fiber of my being that god had called me on a mission Hey, welcome to uh, another edition of the Spartan Podcast on Ward Wrestling Live. I'm here with the Chief of Staff, uh, Dan McDonald, and me, of course, Dan Ward. And we have a super awesome guest today with Folds of Honor. His name is Colonel Nichols, and uh, they are doing a lot for the military community. Uh, they provide scholarships to the spouses and or children. Uh, fallen soldiers or disabled soldiers so that they can still pursue an education and afford an education, which is tremendous. Um, Colonel Nichols has a big program uh, as far as squadron, I believe it's called, and he's going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but I just wanted to introduce Colonel Nichols, uh, F-16 pilot. That's pretty dope. Thank you so much for serving our country, protecting our shores, and God bless you. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, guys. I really appreciate uh, you having me on today. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the for the kind entry. Yeah, we're we're excited, man. There's lots of stuff happening uh, with the Folds of Honor. Just a quick update. Uh, so right now for the 2022-2023 school year, and for all of you out there listening, you've probably been on social media seeing all the back to school photos and all of that stuff. We are sending right now 9,070 spouses and kids to school. That's almost $40 million out the door wow. in educational aid, which is absolutely amazing. A huge salute to you know our big brand partners out there like Budweiser and Yeti and all those individual donors who, who help make this happen for us. I mean, it doesn't happen otherwise without their generosity. And you know we, we're going on about 14 years strong right now, and that is a total number of 44,000 scholarships nearing almost $200 million uh, out the door. And we are super excited. And God bless you. And, and thanks to Dan for putting this together. Um, uh, we, we try to reach out to all aspects of, of military foundations and things that um, all you guys are doing. Um, really, really cool that you guys are doing that. I know that Growing up, uh, my father was in the military, but I know he 
has always reached out and you see, you hear stories of, of unfortunate situations and then the parents or maybe the parents are in college at the time and they have to stop their education because yep. they gotta be home with the kids or, or they can't afford it. Uh, or now the kids who are getting ready to go off to college now might not be able to do it. So you guys step in and um, it's amazing because now they're gonna be able to go and pursue their dreams and, and maybe one day pay it back, right? Not no, absolutely. Back, not paying the scholarship back, but I mean, pay it back like in life, pay it forward to 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 give back to what obviously you guys have done for them. Well, a hundred percent, you know, and it, it's a great question and what you reminded me of. So I spoke at a benefit concert uh, in Colorado Springs uh, this past weekend, and there's probably a crowd of a thousand people there. And, um, and this was a really, really cool moment because I asked them this one question and go, what was the one thing that we all had in common when we woke up this morning? And in unison, a thousand people said freedom. And it ain't free. Freedom comes with a very, very high cost. There's less than half of 1% each and every day that gets up and puts on that nation's uniform is willing to die uh, for all of our freedoms in the least we can do is come alongside these families. This ain't a handout. This is a hand up. This is a thank you. This is a celebrating um, your service member, whether they uh, were lost in the line of duty or whether they were disabled as a result of their service. It's a way of keeping their stories alive. And it's a way of us being able to tell these families that you are seen and that you are heard and to do something very, very tangible for them. And that is to help them achieve their educational dreams. Uh, incredible. I know, uh, Dan. So, I know so you have a lot to talk about here. Well, I, I, I want to get right, right to the, the crux of what we're, you know, why we're here, especially is with what's coming up with the squadron. Um, I'd like to make sure that the listeners know more about that, um, how they can get involved in that. And then I know, you know, Dan's going to include some stuff, um, some links, and everything when we, when the podcast, you know, gets posted. But what can you tell us so that the people can understand what Squadron is and, and how it impacts your, uh, your mission? Yeah, you bet. So our Squadron in a nutshell, it's our affinity program. So you join our Squadron uh, at $13 a month. That's a recurring donation. It's less than your Netflix subscription. And you get in a fight with us and help us honor these military families. You can go to foldsofhonor.org slash squadron or just go to foldsofhonor.org and click on the Squadron tab. Super easy way to sign up, $13 a month. And a lot of the listeners out there may be going, why $13? If you can see this flag on my shirt right here, it takes exactly 13 folds to bring you to this iconic triangle shape of freedom. And that is the flag that is handed to the spouse or family members of a military member at their funeral. And if you look at this, you can see the two stars and the four stars on my shirt, all right? When the flag is handed to a military family, you see one, three, and five stars. This is intentional. We have your back. We're the backside of the flag. We're there to support you. We're there to come alongside of you. And for $13 a month at foldsofhonor.org, you can get in the fight with us, right? You can be a part of knowing what's going on because we're going to send you emails and updates. You know, we're later this year, we're going to get you in uniform and get a t-shirt out to you and all those type of things. And it is just a great way uh, to engage uh, on behalf of these military families and really see what the Folds of Honor is all about. So some question for you, Colonel Nichols. So uh, is this already, this is already underway right now? So you person can go right now and join the squadron? Absolutely. You can go there. If you go right now to foldsofhonor.org, click on the squadron tab, you can join right now. So I'll ask Joe later. I'm just going to ask him for forgiveness later. Um, so how about between now and Veterans Day? Anybody who reaches out to you and commits to that, um, I will I will give you guys enough race codes that if somebody commits to join the squadron, they will get a free free Spartan race on us. Oh, I love that. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's really cool. do it. That is super cool. Wow. That's fantastic. I mean, that's 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 an awesome thing. So a, a simple way. I mean, we, we've been partnering all year long with different little things, but this is. The, I, I want people to just go, well, it's $13, but I'm going to get a free race out of it. So, you know, even a full year's worth of $13 is about the value of a race. So I'd, I'd love to give them all their money back, basically, in, in the equivalent of a race um, and get them out there. I know we're going to try to get a few of you out to some of our races, too. Yep. 
Um, and we'll start celebrating that when the time comes and uh, you know, have some group, groups of people from the Folds of Honor out there with us running our races. So I think it'd be a great, a great easy mix for us besides the other stuff that we're doing. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit of a little bit of noise made around that. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do it. You know, and for those of you out there listening, when you when you go out there to foldsofhonor.org, you click on that squadron tab and you start filling it out. There's a note section at the bottom. Let us know that you heard about it through the Spartan podcast. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. You know, to give somebody an idea of what it means when when you guys show up to a family to help them kind of put us through that moment. Uh, you obviously have heard that a family has um, unfortunate loss and you decide that you're going to take action and you show up. I'm, I'm sure you show up at their home or wherever you show up and, and you offer this to them. Walk us through how special this moment is. You know, so typically what we do, and especially if it's a recent loss with the, you know, with the family and stuff like that, we can be intentional and work through the military, you know, go to their commander and stuff like that and give them an awareness that the folds of honor is there. But we want to be extraordinarily sensitive that, you know, at that time, it's prob education is probably the last thing on the family's mind, right? They're still grieving and going through that process and stuff. Um, but we definitely do want to get the word out to them and let them know that, you know, we are a resource. But the feedback that we get from these families is absolutely amazing. It actually, Dan, makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes when I'm with these families, how thankful that they really, really are. I mean, and I, I, I can say this with judgment day honesty, um, you know, because I'm in the military, I'm a military brat, you know, so live both sides of this thing. Military families are just some of the strongest, loving, caring, and humble families that you will ever meet. But there's several of these kids that we're putting to school right now, I think it's around 700 that are first generation college students. Can you imagine getting the word from the Folds of Honor? Nobody, no member of your family has ever been to college. There's no way you're going unless the Folds of Honor is there to support you, thanks to the generosity of all our awesome donors. And that somebody has just reached out again, not giving you a hand up, but saying, thank you. Thank you for being a part of the military. Thank you for, you know, you know, loving your family member and stuff like that. Because, you know, as a 30 year veteran, as an F-16 pilot with seven combat tours and stuff like that, um, my wife and kids were along for the ride. I never asked them if it was OK. It just always was right. They don't sign on the dotted line. We do. So when we can come back in on the back end of their career or at the worst moment in their life when they've lost that military member and just be able to say thank you and not just say thank you, but say thank you and do something extraordinarily tangible, which is, you know, hey, we're coming alongside you and we're going to help with your educational dreams. So, you know, the feedback is wildly positive. They're excited about it. And the other thing that Folds provides them, and it's probably more important than the educational scholarships, we give them a platform that their loved one's memory lives in perpetuity. And we're going to continue to celebrate them. And we're going to continue to tell everybody across America about their hero. So I'm a... Um... So I'm a public servant, law enforcement, fire, whatever. I'm a coach. I'm a teacher. I'm a volunteer in the community. And I hear about a family that is going through this situation and unfortunately can't stay in our school, can't stay in our college or wants to go off and get an education. How, how do I get a hold of you? We heard how to get them signed up for the squadron, but on the other side of them, not maybe there's a lot of families that aren't heard of right through the military, but are heard of as I coach and I talk to the family or I I'm a public servant. I'm a law enforcement officer. I'm a PAL coach. How do I get in touch with you to, to advise you of these families that are in need? Yeah. And, and Dan, keep shouting it from the mountaintops, brother. I mean, we want to help every single family out there that we can. So whatever venue or you know, medium that you have to get the word out there. We appreciate it. But if you're a listener out there, if you're a veteran um, and you have the VA disability rating or you're a listener and you have lost your military member, go to foldsofhonor.org and click on contact us. Okay. You click on that email. Our awesome team is going to get back with you. 
okay, and get you all the information that you need. And as a listener out there, just so you know, so our application window is February and March of every single year. So the next application window will be February, March of 2023. And we typically send out notifications for scholarships around the midpoint of July. And you do this for military personnel? Is this, excuse me, is this something that is offered to a law enforcement family? So if I'm a family of a fallen officer and I'm going to the same situation, is this something you guys would be interested in helping as well? Or is it just specific to our military? Well, I'll tell you what, so um, stand by, go to our website on 9-11, September 11th of this year, and uh, you're going to see a big announcement. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Not going <laughs> to confirm or deny that it's classified. And if I told you, Dan, unfortunately, I'd have to kill you. So yeah. uh, it's uh, probably go a pretty good website. aim being a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so go to our website on 9/11, and there's going to be a big announcement there. And I think there's going to be a lot of excited uh, folks about this big announcement. That's awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to ask all those questions because I think there's so many people out there that are protecting our country in one way or another that don't have the opportunities that that they that they need when they lose somebody like that. So it's really cool. Yeah. What do you have, Dan? So Colonel Nichols, before we sign off here, is there any anything else that you want to make sure that the listeners know? Um, I, I think we've I think we've tried to cover all of the of the the hot topics for what we what we've been working on together. Um, again, just a reminder, as you've been listening to this, we'll make sure that we have all the information when it gets posted. But anybody who goes to foldsofhonor.com or org.org, right? Dot org, correct. Um, and signs up for the squadron. Uh, obviously, part of it is giving, you know, is putting your email address in there. I will work with um, the folks that uh, Colonel Nichols works with, and we'll make sure that everybody who does that will get a race code out to you. You can take your pick of any Spartan race. Uh, between now and the end of next year, we'll actually make sure that the code is good all the way through 2023. Um, and who knows when when this is more successful than I want than I think it's going to be. Um, we extend it past Veterans Day, but Veterans Day seems like a very um, a, a good day to make this be. What can we do between now and then? Um, so let, let's let's get on top of that. But is there anything else you want to make sure that the listeners know before we uh, sign off here? Absolutely. So, you know, the, the real return on investment for your $13 a month donation at foldsofhonor.org um, is the stories of the families, okay? And go to our website. If you're just curious, go out there and, and listen and see these testimonials uh, that are out there. Just unbelievable stories of heroism. And one thing I want your listeners and potential donors out there to be confident in is that we are unbelievable stewards of your money. We operate at 91 cents on the dollar. That is extraordinarily difficult for a nonprofit to do. So to use a fighter pilot term, we are high speed, low drag. I may have a fancy title as a chief growth officer, uh, but you know what? If you're not willing to uh, take out the trash, sweep the floors and clean the sink and the toilets, uh, you can't work here. OK, uh, you know, this is a this is a 24, 7, 365 mission for us. And um, we will never be complete with the mission um, because the need is great as long as we are a country that desires freedom. And I think we always will be uh, that less than half of one percent is going to have to wake up each and every day and put that uniform on and be willing to go die for it. Right. So let's get in the fight with them and be confident that when you give us money, it's going to the right place. I love it, man. I just love everything you're doing. And uh, yeah, please get involved. Um, like you said, only $13 a month and, and you're able to send a, a family of a, of a fallen soldier or a disabled soldier uh, through to get an education. Some of them who would have never got an education otherwise. And, and when you do that, get a free Spartan race. Love it. Love it. Love being in the fight with you guys. Thank you so much for that offer, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you take care, Colonel Nichols. Thank you so much for coming on. All right. Big salute to you guys and your listening audience out there. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. you. There are currently 2 million American spouses and children whose family member was killed or disabled in defense of our country, which is why I founded the Folds of Honor, providing educational scholarships to the families of 1% of the Americans who protect our freedom. Thank you for supporting the Folds of Honor. Thank you for supporting the Folds of Honor. Please join our squadron today. Your $13 a month speaks volumes and changes lives forever.